Do you remember when you were a kid and you walked into an arcade with a pocket full of quarters, $5 in one pocket, $4 in the other, and you were ready to play your favorite video game? For me, it was Donkey Kong, it was Pac-Man, it was Asteroids. Nowadays, maybe it's Tekken. A few years back, it was Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. You put your quarters in one by one by one, and you notice something when you battle each person in the video game or when you were trying to get through this, the different levels. It was difficult. It was harder. Why is it difficult when yesterday it was much easier? Did the guy change the machine? Did somebody make some tuning on it? What's going on here? Why am I telling you this story? There are two times a year when it's the best to take the Duolingo English test. When is that? Keep watching and you'll find out. Okay, a little bit of a scenery change here. Before I get into the two best times of the year to take the Duolingo, let's try to understand how the DET scores people. And I've had contact with many people at the development team at the Duolingo English test. They're pretty tight-lipped about their system and their mechanism because it is proprietary. But one thing is true. It operates on a system called CAT, not the pet in your house, but CAT, Computer Adaptive Technology. So that that means that when you take the test, it actually adjusts itself to your level. So if you've taken the practice test or even the actual test, you'll notice that sometimes it has a short sentence for you to read. And you're thinking, well, that's pretty easy. That's not a difficult thing. And then as you go, it gets a little more difficult and a little more difficult and more challenging as you go along. It's elevating the proficiency level and the scale and the difficulty as you get better in the test. Now. The opposite is true too. If you are a higher proficiency level learner and you, let's say, make a few mistakes on some of the more challenging questions, the test will then adjust itself back down to give you a chance to climb back up the ladder. I hope that makes sense. Again, this is all math stuff. So this CAT system is pretty cool and it breaks down to kind of two major areas. One is NLP natural language processing. This is the ability for computers to process human voice and written text and give feedback. The other component in the CAT system is called the RASH model. Let's see if we can understand this in very simple terms. It's made up of two parts, the level of difficulty of the question and the anticipation that you will answer the question correctly. Once again, the level of difficulty of the question and the anticipation that you as the test taker will get it right. So if you're a higher level learner and you miss out on a question that's of lower level, but the model anticipates that you would have answered it correctly, that can hurt your score. What? And on the other end, if your proficiency level is lower, and they don't actually anticipate that you might get some of the more challenging questions correct, it doesn't affect your score as much. There's so many components involved in the mathematical makeup of how the RASH model works. I'm still trying to understand it. There are many people that take the test and they say, well, geez, that was really easy, but they only got a score of, let's say, 85 and they felt that the test was really easy and then you have learners at a higher level and it was just this arduous task and it was a real challenge for them it was one of the more difficult tests that they've ever taken and they got high level questions and they said it was really difficult and they got a hundred so it is based on question level and anticipation level as well so that stuff is good to know when we approach the test we do pardon the interruption we'd like to take a break folks from all the brain work and Perhaps sit down and have ourselves a cup of coffee. Let's get back to studying. I want to talk for a minute about our website, detstudy.com. The link is in the description. What makes our website unique and special? Maybe you've bought book for the Duolingo. Uh, you've watched a lot of YouTube videos like mine and other people. Uh, you've been on some different websites with sample questions. The problem is that this is not a type of test that you can prepare for in a book. And going actually through sample tests over and over is not really the best way to prepare for the test. The 
best way is question by question, getting really good at one particular question before moving on to the next. Again, you can go to the official website for Duolingo English test and you can take the practice test. It takes about 30 to 40 minutes and it gives you a score at the end. But sometimes you might have messed up on a question and you really need to perfect uh, read then complete where you fill in the missing letters. On detstudy.com, you'll have that chance to perfect each question one by one. And at the end of each question, it's going to give you feedback and a score from AI. It's going to tell you about lexical complexity, grammatical accuracy, and all these other parameters maybe you didn't even know about, or your acoustic features when you speak, how you can actually improve to get better for the actual test. I mean, if you're going on a job interview, the worst thing that you could do is do no preparation. And I'm not saying you're not preparing for the test out there, but having the chance to look at each question one by one and getting really, really good at it before you move on to the next question is really important. For example, the read aloud question where you have to read a sentence and record your voice, there's over 800 different sample questions that you can work on in detstudy.com. So I'm really excited. I hope you'll have a chance to go look at it. The packages that are available for a month and three months are very affordable for students like you. And so it's nothing that's going to cost too much. And I think you'll really benefit from it. Back to the video game story. Why am I talking about video games when we're studying the Duolingo English test and trying to get better and score higher and all of that? Even as a kid or a teenager, you realized that the owner of the arcade or wherever you were playing the game had the ability to fine tune the machine. He could make it more difficult, maybe so that kids wouldn't stick around all day and play the game, or maybe he would make it easier to make it a better experience for them. I don't know. But you figured that out then. We realized that that's possibly happening in the same way today when it comes to testing. Universities make 65% of their revenue through enrollment. That's right. So when you apply and go to school there, everybody gets paid. School's a business. Education's a business. So why is that important? I've been teaching the Duolingo in South Korea. I've taught hundreds and hundreds of students, and I see their patterns, their obstacles, their breakthroughs. And I've noticed that there's twice a year the Duolingo gets a little bit easier. Those times are in June and in December. Why is that? Universities rely on enrollment, and because of that, if TOEFL, if TOEIC, if Duolingo, if all of those proficiency tests are challenging and students are unable to pass it, then guess what? The universities aren't going to get those students. So what I've seen every year in June and every year in December is that somehow, I'm not saying, but I'm kind of saying, the algorithm, the difficulty levels get tuned down just a bit on the Duolingo so that those students who have consistently received the same score and the same score and they're unable to get over that hump, they make that jump and they get through. This is a little bit of intel, kind of important information, and you'd have to have seen with those that are studying it. Again, every single season, June and December, seems to be the best time for people to take the Duolingo English test. Thanks everybody for tuning in. If you'd like to help out the channel, hit the like button, subscribe, or hit the notification button so you could get regular update. Until that time, we'll see you in the next video and happy learning.